Hello everybody, this is Greg29407, back with another episode of City Skylines. And today I think we're going to do is uh, work on this little uh, segment that we added in the last chapter uh, of, our, of our show. Um, we've got this road that's going down here towards uh, our, our eventual uh, forestry industrial area. We've got some nice industry going on right now. We've got uh, uh, some demands for everything. But I think what I want to do is go ahead and put in some uh, residents around this railroad section. Now, what we could do is wait till we have about 9,000 residents and then we can move the rail lines wherever we want, we can put them over here. But I think what we ought to do instead is I'm gonna kinda, kinda play this as it is. Um, the other thing you can do is you can also uh, sink this underground. Uh, we can use our movement uh, and some uh, uh, our fine road stuff and, and actually sink this. But I wanna, I wanna play it as it is. Um, I would think that in a small town, maybe this is an older uh, town, and it was founded maybe before there was even a freeway at all. Maybe they didn't have freeways existing back then. And maybe it was probably founded around the railroad itself. And at some point there may have been three or four sets of tracks that through here. And uh, the, the, the town sprung up around these railroad tracks. Uh, some people decided to build some industry and some businesses and it kind of sprung up and they built this whole thing. And eventually it became big enough that they built a freeway nearby. And then, you know, railroads kind of uh, fell, fell behind a little bit. So what I'd like to do is kind of uh, kind of lean into the railroad track going through here like this. And I think what I'm going to start off by doing is I'm going to do another a little match of this thing for some commercial. So let's get this thing started. And I think what we would have is we'd have like a little road here, and I am going to connect two of these spokes. We have these uh, these spokes. Uh, not quite right. We have these, uh, these, these six spokes, these starburst spokes coming off that everything is built on. And I think it would make sense. These would be connected. That's pretty good right there. All right. What we can do is go ahead and place a little bit of commercial, definitely on the inside. the outside too this is probably like the maybe this was main street this is the main street of this uh little town the railroad straight tracks are here maybe there was a, an old uh railroad station for passenger rail right along here somewhere too i bet the tracks came through like this you know maybe there's some more tracks along here and there was another road over here with the, the railroad maybe what we'll do is we'll put a railroad uh, station we won't connect it for anything because passenger rail isn't very big on here but we'll put an old historic Railway station right over here or something like that at some point. That'd be kind of cool. All right, so let's see. Now, what we would also have would be, this is like our main street. Then we want to have some some housing. This is the you know where the main, uh, all the industry and, and housing was. I think we want to put some houses up here. Let's see here. We probably need a street that goes right down the middle. Like over here, we did this little street right here, came off the, the center. Let's do the same thing over here. Let's go ahead and do this. All right, let's see. Do we want to go over this track? Let's not go over these tracks, though. Let's maintain the integrity of the tracks. tracks this side then we'll do a few little roads over here let's see here Go off this way yeah 
Yeah, let's do a little. Let's, let's follow the same curve. Get this curve matched as well as we can. do in this case, I want to zone these things, is rather than zone the whole thing, you know, these, these houses back up to the railroad yard, and if there are a bunch of tracks going through here at some point, they're not going to build like a bunch of really gigantic houses, you know, really nice mansions and stuff. We want to put some, some little tiny houses along here, They're like a little two and six square thing. You know, these, these are small homes owned by some of the, the, the workers. want to have a little place to live for their families, but not so close to the around top of the tracks either. You know. Maybe a few things in here. I'm not sure if these, these one-by houses are going to work. I don't know. We'll have to see if that, if that actually uh, turns into anything. It might not. That's okay. We'll do a three by three there. Yeah, that may that may just be a vacant spot. We'll see. Right in the middle of that. One. These are a little bit farther away. Maybe we'll just do a, a bigger one. Okay. The same thing over here. Let's kind of play around with it a little bit. A little tiny uh, house. And maybe, maybe what we can do is later on when we have that, uh, we can do, make this like a historical neighborhood. You do it so uh, you know we kind of freeze the houses in time. So. You know, eventually we're going to come back when we can do high density and, and change a lot of these neighborhoods to make them, you know, high dense. But maybe this is a neighborhood we just kind of keep, you know, frozen amber here. But, you know, they'll be fixed up little houses, but they're, they'll be tiny little shotgun houses, you know. A few of these like this. All right. I think I'll keep on working on that. And uh, we'll probably do the same thing on some of these. But these would be a little bit bigger houses because they're a little bit farther away from the tracks. Here. Maybe inside this block here, they're bigger houses. Actually, you know, I'm going to, no, no, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to keep maintaining these little swans on, on this street. This one street, I think. Let's uh, make these regular sized houses. Here. Yeah, I'll, I'll work on that a little bit later. But uh, yeah, I think I like that. We can do the same thing with these little ones right here. Yeah, I'll do. That. I'll go back and do some of that later. And uh, now on the inside, we want to do a very similar type thing. But I think what I want to do is also want to do like a like a pedestrian walker. Do we have the walkways yet? Yeah, we do. That. We 
have those kind of work. I want one of the, like a regular gravel. Here we go. Here we have uh, the pavement path and we have bicycle path. I think we'll just use a regular pavement path here. And what I want to do is I'm going to follow these tracks this side. Let's see how far, how close would it come? Let's, uh, We have not done a whole lot of decorating yet, because so far we've just been kind of working towards getting houses and industry and everything else like that set up, because it's so important at this early stage of the game. But we're going to eventually we'll go ahead and decorate an awful lot of these uh, neighborhoods, but I think this just gives us an opportunity to We'll hit start in this section. I could uh, follow along here. So these were real tracks, and they turn them into like a walking trail for all the residents to enjoy. Gonna go yet, but uh, <laughs> I tie this in there for right now. And when we uh, widen this road, this will probably still be okay. Okay, I'm going to keep playing with this a little bit, and we will be back in just a few minutes. All right, it's been a few minutes. I put in a, a little bit more time on here. Uh, these are the roads we put in before, and I put in this little uh, area on this side of the railroad tracks, um, connected a few roads up. I did the same uh, uh, thing where I've just zoned very small houses along the street that backs up. Um, I went ahead and put uh, trails on both sides of the railroad tracks. So this look, there were there were maybe three sets of tracks going through here. Uh, and two of them had been replaced with just path walking pathways. And so uh, this one starts off over here and, and kind of follows the tracks along the little off ramp with this little um, cul-de-sac. I don't know, I may end up putting a little, uh, an old railroad depot or something there, a historic one. A little uh, off ramp here, and then one down here, and then on this, and down at the end, right down uh, there. And then this one, same thing, a few little uh, uh, paths that go into the neighborhood itself. It looks pretty nice. And uh, what we need to do next is, I think we're going to go ahead and make sure, well, first of all, let's make sure we got enough uh, water. Oh, and we don't. So we need to do that. Okay, so that takes care of the water. How are we looking for electricity? Power's looking pretty good. All right, we may have, a, have to connect some stuff up here. Let's go ahead and get this started. What do I want to do after the houses start to come in? I'm going to start to landscape around this thing. I want to put a lot of trees in here, very, very leafy uh, walkways and everything, make it very nice. But let's uh, let's crank this thing up and see what happens. We have quite a demand for a little bit of everything, so we're going to see some things start to develop. Maybe. Oh, here we go. Something's going on over here. Yeah, we just have to be prepared to get in here with the with the power. Some of the little tiny houses coming in over here. That's good. Okay, there we go. Sometimes the power takes care of itself. Not over here yet. If we can get a couple of these houses right here to, to build up, they'll be okay. If 
thought we'll have to do a little connection here. It's so close. Oh, there we go. Perfect. It's all connected. <laughs> that little tenuous little uh, thing right here, but it worked. Alrighty, they're coming along. Let's take a little closer look. See, you got these little tiny little houses, although these look pretty nice. No one wants to be too close to the railroad tracks. I did use the Move It mod to, to get the uh, thing. Oh, look, some bicycles are going on there. Look at all the bicycles and the runners. Look at that. Let's look down so we can see a little better. They're all jogging along the, my little pathways. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. They're enjoying our little trails we made for them. I should have put like a, a parking lot or something in here, too. Oh, uh, one other thing. Um, I noticed that Chirpy is up here, unfortunately. Uh, I found out the reason for uh, yesterday we were getting um, uh, a blue screen here for natural resources. We couldn't see the, the oil and ore and everything. Uh, it was because one of the mods I had on here, the hide it mod, was uh, was blocking things up. So I, I disabled that, and uh, everything came back to normal. But then we also have Chirpy up here, so that's kind of a a win lose situation. <laughs> All right, well let's go ahead and uh, we have the nice little fars in here. Let's go ahead and start putting in some, some trees. Again, this is. Uh, not going to get us very far in terms of uh, population here. We're not going to. It's going to bring in some people, not a huge amount, but this is mainly just to kind of make things look a little nice. There's two kind of trees I'm going to put that, that are, this map kind of pushes. And that's uh, these little things right here, which are alders and also this conifer number one. So I think I'll. We'll, Alternate. Both of those on here. with uh, land values as well. In fact, what we're probably going to do in our park is place a bunch of um, trees to try and help boost up our entertainment value with that. You know, there's little clumps of trees in various places. They just kind of, kind of grew up here, just randomly after the trail. The the trains were removed, and the trees kind of grew up in their place. Yeah, and of course we're going to widen this and stuff later on. New building, new building. What new building do we have? We have, oh, the tram depot. I generally do like trams, but I, I'm going to hold off on any trams or anything right now for the time being to see how uh, our traffic goes. All right. That's looking pretty good. Let's see. Let's do uh... This is a little working class neighborhood. Yeah, I like that. We can always kind of come back and add some more. Actually, I'm going to add some more right now because it looks like it may be a little too. Yeah. 
let's see here. I'm gonna look too, uh, too created, you know, too set up. Make it look a little more, it's kind of random, natural looking style. It's also, uh, the trees will also help with uh, noise pollution for these houses. Block out some of the traffic noise. But I just uh, I ran out of places to put stuff, so I just gonna left that alone. <laughs> we'll do some of that late, later on. All right, we got all the little people on there. I think we got a hit on our hands. Got a lot more room for growth here. That's good. And we did not do anything on the outside yet. I think we'll. Uh, hold off to see if we want to put uh, more commercial or more residential over here. Now, remember, this right here is where we're going to have do eventually do our um, oil stuff. So I think we're going to have a lot of this is going to be more of a, a lower end housing anyway. So I think this is a, a good start for this because this is probably where the town started. And it went naturally over to the mines or the, the oil fields and then to the, the forestry, which we're going to do a lot with. i got to move this road, I think, so it straightens out a little bit. Um, good. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. I like that. Very nice little addition. Look how nice that looks. It takes kind of the ugly uh, railroad track and makes it a very attractive little, little feature of our town. All right. Okay, so I think that's going to uh, do it for this episode. Next time, what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and uh, get started on some of this. I want to I want to start to to. I think I'm going to turn this road and go parallel to the freeway. We'll make our. Uh, whole section. This is going to be a big, big section. Of this is where the majority of our um, jobs are going to come from, I think. So uh, we'll do that next time. But until next time, this is Greg29407 saying au revoir, and we will see you next time.